Hello explorers and welcome to another video. Now it's the December time again and it's time for Advent of Code. Ta -da! I did a few puzzles last year and I'm trying to do a few more this year. And we're gonna start off with the first day, December fun. And I hopefully can uh, push this out tomorrow, December 2. And the first puzzle here, first off, you have a little description about that Santa is uh, away on a different galaxy and we need to help him back by collecting 50 stars. So that means that we have 50 puzzles for 25 days and two puzzles each day. And the first puzzle here is pretty simple. We need to calculate how much fuel we need for the given modules that we have. And each module has a specific mass and in order to get the fuel you will divide the mass with three, round it down, so floor it, and then subtract two of that and that will give you the mass. And then you need to uh, add, add all the masses into one number and that number you need to supply down here. We have some puzzle input here, so let's switch over to the actual uh, code here. So here I have copied in the input is just normal integers 100 of them and Then I have prepared a class here day one. So now I will start coding and I'll see you soon I will speed it up a bit and give you some nice music to look at, uh, listen to while I code and I will be back with uh, the actual solution my thought here from the beginning is to create first off something that can read the file so i will read each line i need to trim the lines so to remove uh, remove any extra space i want to get uh, take the actual number of each line then do the calculation add it up to a sum and then print it out so this should be pretty simple logic but we'll see when i have uh, started this if it's actually hard. So I'll see you soon. And I'm back and I believe this should be the function here. I haven't actually run it yet as you have seen <laughs> during my uh, thing here. I have created a data path where I put day one and puzzle one text. And then I have a line variable that I will use for the actual reading. I have a sum variable that I will add to. And then I read each line. I do an integer parsing here with a line trim so you will get a number i will calculate this divided by three and i need double value so i get the right uh get the right number so it it, it isn't uh already uh, changed to an integer so i need double values on both ends and then i will floor that and give back an integer and that will be my new number i will subtract two of that and i will add that to my sum so hopefully this is the correct uh, value here let's try it out let's see what we get and let's see let's see do we get, we get a number it's a large number let's try it out on the site let's see here put it in and submit the right answer, yes, I got the first star. So we are on a good path. I will read uh, the next description here and I'll be right back. So the second one was a little bit more challenging. Now we need to take the result of what we actually calculated and use that as an input for the next 
calculation and do that until we actually get a value rounded down to zero so we don't get any extra fuel. Uh, so this means that if we for instance have a value we divide it by three, three and minus it by two and we get a reminder left from that calculation so we get some fuel then we need to do the same steps again on that fuel because it actually weighs an amount of mass as well. So we need to do that and then sum up all the values in order to get the fuel for one of the modules. And then we need to do that for all the modules. So I need to change my calculation a bit and I'll be right back after some coding. And I'm back and I realized that I can actually just put a while loop around my expression here and it will do this calculation I believe uh, because we have actually fetched the number here and then we do a floor of that number and minus 2 and add it up then we will still have that number and we can do it all over again divide it by 3 and then uh, subtract 2 and sum that up. So this should actually solve this problem as well. I hope that it doesn't hang and we don't get any result but I think this should be the right solution for, for this. And it was quite fast as well so let's go back and see if we found the right solution for this. That's not the right answer. Your answer is too low. If you're stuck, make sure you are using the full input data. Okay. Uh, let's see here if uh, I get... Did I get more puzzle inputs? I don't believe so. Uh, hmm. So it should be the same inputs. So what have I been... What's the uh, wrong in this approach? So without this while loop... We... Let's see. We got this number. And with the while loop, we get that number. So, do they want us to do this after we have uh, read all the values, perhaps? We can do that. Uh, let's try that out. And see if we get a different number. We first do all the summation up here, and then we will say that num is equal to sum, and then we will do the same calculations down here. Will that give us a different number that perhaps is larger? No. Or is it? Yeah, it's a bit larger. So depending on if you're doing it before or after in the loop, it you get a different value. That's interesting. Um, because if I read this correctly, a module of mass 2 requires 2 fuel. This fuel requires no further fuel divided by 2, 3, yeah, 0 could call it a negative fuel, so the total fuel required is still two. Hmm. Yeah, but I guess this could be the right solution. That's not right either. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see that we are actually using the right inputs. So let's uh, try that as well. 
should be the same inputs, right? This is a verd. Did they still tell us it was too low? Or what was the... That's not the right answer. Your answer is too high. Okay. <laughs> so the other, the first answer was too low and the other answer was too high. Hmm. That's weird. So this solution up here was too low and the other solution was too high. Because this should actually give us the right number, correct? Hmm. Or is it something that I'm not thinking about here? I would say that the first one is more correct, right? Or is it? Shall we take a little bit of a hint, perhaps? Uh, tips? on the about page, um, general tips, if you get stuck, try a solution against the examples given in the puzzle. You should get the same answers. If not, reread the description. Did you misunderstand something? Is your program doing something you don't expect after the example work? Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm. Let's try it out. Uh, hustle. Uh, try. Let's see here. So one of the examples here was this. And if we put that in and go back to our main class and then do puzzle try what do we get five zero three four four five zero three four four and they got four six hmm Try this one. We got too few. Hmm. So let's try it in line here. there if 
that's correct. Still wrong. So let's print out num for each iteration and see if we get the same numbers for each. Oh, we get the minus value and that's not allowed. Okay. So if number is less than uh, larger than zero, then we should sum up, else not. So that's our problem, probably. Yeah. So now we got the right value for that one. So let's try the other one. Uh, let's see here. If we get the right value there. Debugging is so much fun. Yes. Now we can go back and run our puzzle one. And hopefully we have solved day one after some troubleshooting. So this is a value between these, I guess. Yes, it's a little bit larger. And we put that in. The right answer. You have one gold star closer to rescuing Santa. You have completed day one. Nice. Woohoo. We did it. Uh, so this was today's video about the advent of code day one. I hope you found this interesting. I hope you found my little intriguing uh, troubleshooting here informative. I hope that you learned something. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do that. If you like this video, give it a like, share it with your friends and colleagues. And I really hope to see you in the next video.